In this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn how we can create cutouts on a cylindrical form. So without further ado, let's get started. You need to add one cylinder with the 32 words. And then you need to scale the cylinder along the z-axis. And then scale it down along the x and y-axis. After that, you need to add one cube add there. And scale down this cube. This cube is our cutter object. Then rotate this cube in a 30 degree angle. You can give the specific rotation angle as per your need. After that, change the transform orientation to the normal and adjust the position of the cube. And try to give the right position to it. So later on, it will be easier for us to create the topology. So that's why you need to give the right position and try to match its corner to the edges of that cylinder. Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation difference. You can see we are going to get this kind of cutout. Turn on the wireframe and one more time, try to get the right position and right size for it. Now the game start, just apply that boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. And now you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the straight cut above and below that cutout. Then give the right position add there. Then here you need to select the words and then merge them. Then use the knife tool and create a cut like this. Then you can take the symmetry along the x-axis. After that create a slant cut like this and try to create that loop structure around that boolean part. Now, if I try to create this kind of cut, it's not a proper cut at there, means not a parallel cut. So that's why just dissolve that cut. And now you can merge the words at here. Here you can extend this cut by using the knife tool. And then you can select that word and use the edge slide at there. And then you can use the knife tool and create a cut like this. And try to create the parallel cuts and loop structure with the even space. And then you can use the knife tool and you can create this kind of Then you can create one more cut like this and one more cut like this. And you can then create cut like this and you can create this kind of loop structure. And similar kind of thing I need to do at this corner also. Just create a cut like this. Here you can observe I have keep some triangles. But these triangles are important to maintain that cylindrical form. And these triangles are not going to destroy the cylindrical form. So that's why we need to keep those triangles at there. Here you can see I'm not getting the proper loop structure. So just dissolve these edges. Then you can select these words and then merge them. Then use the knife tool and create a cut like this. And then you can dissolve this edge loop. And now you can see we are getting the right loop structure at there. Then you can select these words and then connect them and try to create the right Corvus topology at there. And then you can take the symmetry. Select these faces and use the insert operation add there just to add one loop from the inner side. And then you can create a little bit of design add there on the cylindrical form. And now you can select everything and then take the symmetry along the z-axis. Then you can add the sub-d modifier and shade smooth it. Then you can go to the matcap view and you can check the shading add there on the model. And it looks really well. Then you can add one more cylinder and you can create a decent looking design add there. In this way, you can create this kind of cutouts on the cylindrical form. If you want to support this channel, then you can join the membership. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man. I still go. Go, 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 go.